evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Woo! Lord. No. When I come in with the video, I, I, I pray that the energy that I send off ignites your soul to want to get into these words, to get into these scriptures, to look it up, research it, check it out for yourself. And just, you know, take heed and listen to what I have to say. You know what I'm talking about? Because that might help your soul too. It might help you out somewhere in there. We all learn from each other. We learn off each other. It's about the knowledge and how it's applied after it's transferred. See, it's a lot of situations where people will learn something and then turn around and use it to their own advantage instead of using it for what it was for in the first place. Am I lying? Look at the news. They catching them, but they ain't catching them all. You know, but that's a whole different story. Right now, we're going to get into the scriptures. Lord, what do you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people this evening? What is that? We got some dust up here. Oh, Zico, Zico twenty two. be great and we got Zika 23 like a solid 23 yeah 23 and that is 36 35 36 35 36 yeah but you already know what we'll do we'll put that joint in the mix say Behold, the princes of Israel, everyone where envy to their power to the shed blood. In thee have they set light by father and mother in the midst of thee. Have they dealt by oppression with the strangers in thee? Have they vaxxed the fatherless and the widow? Thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbath. Listen. That's his true day of rest. Nowadays, you know, we all take it when we feel like it. You know, that's kind of being disobedient. You know, he had it mapped out for when he wanted to chill. And I'm breaking it down very easy and real that you can feel. <sighs> Listen. When you have disobedience in this word, that's when your world be all shook up. You have to keep him in your presence. And, and this is his map. You know what I'm talking about? This is his map to salvation, to him. He is salvation. He is our rock. He has us covered with his precious blood. Tucked up under his wing. Hid. To his bosom. Lord. 
36. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast forgotten me and cast me behind thy back, therefore bear thou also thy lewdness and thy whoredom. Woo, Lord, got me in here cussing. Says, this is authentic and nothing, so ain't no telling what he might hit her with. Press. The Lord said, Moreover unto me, Son of man, wilt thou judge Ahala and Ahali? Ahali Ba? Ooh, gotta get it right. Yea, declare unto them their abominations. Now, we're going to run that joint. It says that they have committed adultery and blood is in their hands. And with their idols have they committed adultery. And have also caused their sons whom they bear unto me to pass for them through the fire to devour them. You know, when George was sinning, they thought they was winning. Running around grinning, just pretending. To the point that their own kids rebelled and it just so happened to be the mayor because they seen what they was doing. And they, you know, a lot of things be seen by the children that we really don't pay no attention to. I try to pay attention. But, you know, I done seen situations where, you know, these people ain't really paying no attention. They just put some stuff in front of them. You know what I'm saying? And, and had that to occupy them and call that love. You know, I had had friends like that. They grew up like that. You know what I'm saying? Where it was like, you know, I could see when you're young, young, how that can affect you. And as you get older, you know, that's when you start transgressing. Not transgressing, but transforming. Please excuse me. Transforming into adulthood to where really all your sins and everything is going to be upon you solely that's that's that core cut from the, the child to the parent you know sometimes we get to where we don't want to cut that core you know what i'm saying Cause we want to protect our baby but we have to let them go in the direction that they need to go we always guide them in the right direction we don't forsake them no matter if they grown or not, we still minister to them the right path. We have to keep an open line of communication with them. Because without that, we don't know what they're going through, what they, what's going on in their life. You know, and I'm saying this out of a good relationship. Because me and these set of kids here, we got that. That's why they, they want to stay with me. Oh, you know, when we have breakups and different things like that, divorces and all that stuff, you know, the kids really pretty much got limited choices. They pretty much, you know, from coming back in my day, they pretty much be forced against their will to stay with one side. Especially if that other side don't really care to acknowledge that they even exist. It's a lot of people that have came up like that. I'm fortunate that you know, I know both sides. 
I ain't gonna say I know them all, but I know who I know. You know what I'm talking about? And I try to keep it that way with this set of kids. See, God learned me lessons. He learned me lessons because when I started having kids, I didn't have no manual to what to do. When nobody trying to show me nothing like that. They'd have rather that I stayed in a, uh, a cycle to where I ended up in prison or in, in, you know what I'm saying, or dead. When I made, in my mind, to, to make a change, that's when them joints really started cutting up to try to see how they could trap me and trap me some kind of way because they couldn't control me. That's that cord cut. You know, it said uh, in the Bible, when you're about to get married, that uh, you have to cut some cords, you know what I'm saying? The sons walk off from the fathers and the mothers and, and vice versa. You know, this is authentic or nothing, you know. This ain't nothing that's rehearsed. That's why it's authentic or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just flowing. You know what I'm saying? You can consider this a, a, a Bible a freestyle. But each point that I'm touching on, you know that I'm telling the truth. Like I said, it irritates some people's demons to the point that they want to jump up and try to attack me with their situation and what they got going on. And they don't know nothing about mine or, or the ones that do. They try to cover up, try to make it look sugar-coated. When really it's full of salt. I mean, like that, uh, that Morton's, uh, Morton's salt mean. Hey, I, when they say don't be a salty beep, you know what I'm talking about? Because that's what be happening. You know, man and woman break up. See, like me in my situation, my, my joint, you know, they immediately, they got somebody else already. A couple of somebody else. I'm working on one. And that one that I'm working on, I plan on being with that one and staying with that one. And, you know, that, that that's just me. That's how I'm cut. I'm from a different type of fabric. See, some people be used to that toxic situation like that. They be used to it. Because, you know, I never really, I ain't really paid no attention. Because I wasn't thinking about it at the time. But that's why her mom and dad have been separated. And her mom ended up being the sole person to raise her. And I ain't even trying to be bringing nobody else up, but I'm just saying and making an example because that's what happened with me and, and my kid's situation. So now I'm finna cut her out completely again. But you know what I'm saying? Um, me and my kid's situation to where they only had one side of the story with the assistance of public assistance. And what I mean by that is them was community kids. She allowed anybody to come in and out of their life. They allowed anyone to come in and out of their life, no matter if it was a person that they stayed with for a long time or not. Because if they ever went down to the government they allow different people to come in and out of them kids' life because behind the scenes, paperwork, people, and all kind of things switch hands. And behind the scenes, and everybody don't have the same good intent.
God hit me right now, so I'm hitting y'all. It's like, uh, that's, that's the generational curse that needs to be broken. I'm not telling you to stay in no toxic mess, because that's why I'm free right now, because I couldn't stay in no toxic mess. Because I want to see and do better. And like I said, I thank God for allowing me to have those learning experiences half of my life. You know what I'm saying? He's giving me another opportunity to make it right for his kingdom. He want to showcase his kingdom with his kingdom husband, kingdom wife, kingdom kids in the kingdom building all the rocks and stones that throw that anybody that's working and, and living in the, the presence of God know what I'm talking about when I say that you know they take those stones that's being thrown and they help keep building kingdom spreading love and light teaching these other people who willing to transition their lives to get closer to Christ and following his steps this is authentic letter and I'm gonna holler at y'all in the eye opener later on